In previous modules, what we've been discussing is the development of the immune cells that are needed to protect our bodies. And we've talked about their development in the bone marrow, their selection either in the bone marrow or the thymus, and now we're ready to set these mature naive cells or these virgin cells out into the body to do the job that they're designed to do. Now we call them mature and naive because they're not yet battle hardened. They're prepared to do their job and yet they've never been asked to do it yet. So if you think strategically at this point, you realize that the uniqueness of each and every receptor on a lymphocyte stipulates that in order to have an effect, it's going to need to go to an area and find its cognate antigen in order to respond to it and have some protective effect. And the problem with that is that a single cell emerging from the primary lymphoid organs, the bone marrow and the thymus, has to go out into the body as a whole and find that needle in a haystack foreign substance that is complementary to its receptor. So when you think about it in those terms of one cell needing to find the source of entry of a foreign substance and do something about it, you realize that you need to have two things happen. You need to have those cells capable of moving through the body and sampling from different locations. And you also need to have a way for them to respond to signaling that is coming in from tissues where injury or damage or invasion has occurred. So in this chapter, we're going to discuss what we call lymphocyte trafficking. In other words, the movement patterns of lymphocytes as they come from the primary lymphoid organs to go out into the body and try to find that thing for which their receptor is specific. Now, as you notice, this brings us to the topic of the discussion of the secondary lymphoid organs. And these organs are designed to be the locations where my mature naive lymphocytes actually meet their specific antigens. And in these locations, these secondary lymphoid organs, they're also designed anatomically so that there can be a maximum amount of crosstalk between the cells and the foreign substance and other collaborative cells which might be necessary to perform a fully fledged immune response. So my secondary lymphoid organs, of course, are my lymph nodes, of which there are hundreds, my spleen, of which I have one, and of course it's the largest secondary lymphoid organ, and then a specialized set of tissues that line the bowel that are designed to sample material coming in from the gastrointestinal tract. And we can call those in general mucosal associated lymphoid tissues, or we can talk about them specifically in the small intestine being the prototypical Peyer's patch. Now, realize that the design of these secondary lymphoid organs is to sample the environment in different locations. The lymph nodes are designed to filter the lymph that drains out of all of the tissues. The spleen is designed to filter the blood and the Peyer's patches are designed to sample the material in the intestinal contents and determine the difference between things that I need for caloric value versus things which truly could be pathogenic to me. As we think about the lymphocytes moving from the primary lymphoid organs into these secondary lymphoid organs, you need to realize that in addition to their antigen receptors, lymphocytes have broad categories of molecules on their surface which allow them to respond to their environment. 